the show is Two Women, Two Views. And what I would like to do today is share with you my view about my art. The work in the room that is mine is the uh, non-representational abstract work. Um, some people refer to it as non-objective work. I paint in an abstract expressionist style. What that means is I'm an intuitive painter. I paint from what comes inside out onto the canvas. I paint, <clears throat> um, the paint comes through me, I paint free, I paint spontaneous, and I paint emotions. <clears throat> I hope that you can see that and I hope that you can feel that. My work is about energy. And I'll tell you a little bit later why that is. But it's important to me to get a great deal of energy on the canvas <clears throat> before I can begin. Then I start to mix my colors and apply paint to the canvas. Um, so after I've done that for a while, and, I, and all this time I'm really still painting intuitively. So I stop, take a break, put the painting in another room or another area where I can really sit and evaluate it because I can't evaluate while I'm painting. So this is what I'm looking for. Do I have a range of values from light to dark? What is my composition? Is it starting to develop? Am I possibly seeing a center of interest yet? Um, are my colors harmonious? Those sorts of things. Then after I've made some mental notes, I'm able to go back to the studio and begin again. This process goes back and forth, of course, several times. So when I'm getting close to the end, I, what I like to do is I like to put my painting in a place in my house that I can sneak up on it. <laughs> and so I will sneak up on it like early in the morning or late at night, just so I can get a glimpse. And that's when I'll undoubtedly find some things that need to be changed. <laughs> so. How do I know when a painting is finished? Well, that's, for you artists in the room, I don't have to tell you, that's hard to know. Um, it's a different answer for everyone, I'm sure, but for me, it's when I think that there's nothing that I can add that would add to the painting, or nothing that I could subtract that would make the painting better. And I want to talk about this notion of subtraction because this is a very, very key thing in my process and in my painting. What do I mean by subtraction? So when, as I explained how when my painting starts, there's lots of motion and movement. And there's chaos. It's ugly. <laughs> and the subtraction part is paying attention to the parts of the painting that are not important, that are too busy that are conflicting with other areas of the painting so that you cannot see through what's going, you know, really what's happening. So the subtraction happens with either paint really full on painted over an area, or it could be a glazing uh, technique, which pushes it back and allows the, the other more important parts come through. So a little while ago, I mentioned to you that um, energy was a really important thing in my work. So I want to explain why that is, and it's also why I'm the artist I am today. About 13 years ago, I got very, very sick, and I had a condition that was hard to treat, and um, it, was, it was devastating, really. It took all of my energy away. I couldn't work. I couldn't do the things I love. You know, I was devastated, really. I, I was just sort of hopeless for a long time. But I started with specialists and worked really hard to get well, to get better. And after about six years, I did get better and I got much better. And that's when I kind of changed things around. <laughs> so I had been thinking a lot when I was ill. What would I do if I got another chance? What would I do? I didn't know if I'd get another chance. But I remember back to taking art history in college and how much I loved it. And during my, my 
career as an interior designer, I remember how much I enjoyed and how exciting it was to work with clients' collections and help build, help them build collections. So I decided that I, if I did get better, that art was what I would want to do. But I decided I wanted to paint. And so I, you know, one, I got better, I studied hard, I painted a lot, and I'm here today, and I am so thankful. I am so excited to be here. A minute ago is two women, two views. So now it's your view. Your time to look at the art, your view. So what I would like for you to do is I would like for you to step back. I would like you to take it in, and I would like to see for you to, to determine or see if you can get an idea about how is that painting making me feel? What's attracting me to that painting? Is it the color? Or is it the shapes, the line work? Or maybe you're understanding my energy. That's the way I feel you should look at non-representational non abstract work. Um, take it in, feel it, go deeper. And when you're at that deep place, you will meet me there because that's where I create from. So thank you, enjoy, ask me any questions, and thank you so much for being here.